Have you ever had a moment in your life when you feel like everything surrounding you starts to crumble apart? Problems, how we millennials like to call them. But in reality, are they really problems? Or is it life suggesting you what you should be doing? Tipping points, challenges, problems may force you to reconsider things that you knew or thought you knew, partly or fully changing your worldview. As you understand that, you may realize that you need to bring in a new change into your existence. As you seek for help and guidance at some breaking point, you'll acknowledge that you only have you to tell you how to be at this very moment. You'll realize that you only have you, the core of your heart and conscious mind. Now, what is life? Your journey and finally, what makes you, you? All of the experiences that you ever went through make you the individual you are today, right now, at this particular moment. The whole of our life is the reflection of battle between your influences and things surrounding you. Understanding that you'll morph perception, that you see what you choose to see, and the world will take the presence of your inner battles. When you're born, you start at point A, whereas your final destination is death, point Z. It's like walking through the forest, so many trees, so many paths you can choose. Your mind is the only thing that chooses the paths and decides what your life journey is going to be like. As we experience, experience anything, we analyze, but also we observe. We think how we're going to recount that experience to others. So is it just about me and my personal self, or do I need others? We are social animals, and we need understanding, emotional support, and at times guidance. Only you will be able to help you, but there are others to make your life easier. Don't be aware of thinking, I don't need anyone. Choose the right people to guide and help you. Now let's talk about the 21st century. Now more than ever, the concept of predator and play, prey may be applied to the human world. Due to all the pressures created by technological advances and globalization, in the animal world, what defines the role that an animal plays? is its nature and physical strength and power, right? As in our world, it is not as clear cut. Sometimes we're predator, sometimes we're prey. As a human race, we forget how truly great and powerful we are, simply because there will always be the predators amongst us. They may seem like they, they're the one that have the power. They may act as a predator and label you as the prey, but being a predator is simply a defense mechanism. It evolves from having a lot of insecurities that tap into your own. You're the one accepting to be called the prey, to be the one used for their platform, for personal growth and power. You see, we live in a dystopian society, so thus it will not be possible to remove the concept. But let's just throw away the idea of changing or removing anything. Let's add a new label to the concept. That label is the survivor. There's no need to victimize yourself or be the one putting others down for personal power or strength. You know, you have to recognize your own resilience. At a times, pat yourself on the back and say, hey, 
Great job. You lived through this battle. Extract something positive from every negative situation. As your defense mechanism, as your survival evolves into mental strength, it is important to not let go of the idea that we need to maintain a certain balance. Not everything is achievable at the moment. Be realistic with yourself. Be real and know your own limits, your mental and physical capabilities. Do not pressure yourself to the point where you frustrate yourself. Trust me, I've been there. Take a deep breath, relax, be patient and trust your journey. It is similar to the process of growth of an onion. When you're born, you may be the purest being you'll ever be. That is when the seed is being planted into the ground. As you grow and mature, that is when the seeds start to develop, becoming the root, <laughs> adding layer after layer. Those layers come as our experiences, including fears and insecurities. A child is born fearless. That is why children are so enthusiastic about sticking their fingers into electrical sockets and crawling to open windows. But as we grow, we're constantly being told, don't go into the water, you'll drown. Don't play with that ball, you'll get hit by a car. Without the realization, those fears are being placed into our heads, created by our own and others' negative experiences. Not even thinking that those fears will be something that will resist a person from experiencing life to full extent. The point of realization, that is where the onion is being ready to get extracted from the ground and being peeled from all those fears and insecurities. They're not existent. This may be considered as a new blank page, the rebirth. And only now you are the ones to choose how to develop. As I was in a state of total collapse, I stood up and continued fighting. I may call myself the survival, so it's the survivor. It is not about how you, what others think about your experiences and say about it. It's not even what you're going through. It is about your resistance. We are exposed to so many things. And what defines the survival of the fittest in our century is the resistance that comes from adaptability, approach, and attitude. Everything is happening for a reason, even if you don't see it. Life is testing you for your resilience and you need to prove no other than yourself that you're strong and that you're capable of pursuing your purpose here on Earth. Finding your purpose is something that may force you to work, have ambitions and set targets. Finding your temporary purpose, even if it's for a short time, will help you to do so. It will remove that bit that we call laziness or lack of motivation. Laziness is a mental state. It is there because you don't know why you're doing what you have to. Always extract positive, even from things that you find the unnecessary obligations, like taking out the trash. <sighs> right. Only then you may start to build a platform to pursue your dreams that are created by goals and targets set by you, no other than you. Every second of your participation in life, even the smallest one, creates the ripple effect. Now take a moment. Think about your greatest dream or ambition. There should be nothing stopping you from achieving what you want. Be patient. Trust your journey. You only have you.
Start now. The rest is up to you. Thank you.